All right, back to the streets. And this one gets ugly quick. There, I, I am losing my patience entirely with these fascist assholes. Their stupidity and their double think. Their willingness to go ahead and give up rights because of their feelings. I, I, there are those out there that argue, you know, you should, you should be kind, you should talk quiet to these people, you should, you know, try to win them over. You're not winning this piece of shit over. The only thing I want you to do to this crap ass bastard is go ahead and rip his head off. Seriously, I want you to hurt this son of a bitch. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know, he just took it like the cock he was. You know, Mr. Thomas. Uh, this son of a bitch didn't even know what the First Amendment was. All right, and then the next guy comes along, kind of like, you know, he was okay. You know, he, 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 he understood. He wasn't about ready to silence anybody else. But boy, oh boy. Damn, I want a revolution. I want to be able to start hurting these people. God forgive me. I know it's supposed to be a better way. But I've dealt with enough of these people, and then they have the nerve to turn around and say that they're not fascists. Oh, I'm not a fascist. I just don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Eh, anyway. Hey, if you like it, like it. If you care, you share. If you think it's hate speech, fuck you. Um. <laughs> uh, subscribe if you want to know more of this stuff because uh, I'm out here taking I'm out here giving and taking this abuse and uh, you know if you want to support me go do that I gotta look at getting old, uh, getting rid of PayPal because PayPal dropped Alex Jones it is amazing with these. When do we start winning? Seriously, when do we start winning here? Every fucking day, it's the same damn thing, you know? Next day turns into next week, turns into next month, turns into the next year, turns into the next election, turns into a lifetime. And we see nothing. Except, you know, yeah, we go to jail. We get censored. We get banned. We get our get our PayPal accounts taken down. We get attacked in the streets. We go to jail. I see another fucking tweet from Donald Trump. It's got some fucking action. That he's on my goddamn list of fucking phonies. Not the only one. Everybody I speak to out there in the streets, they're, you know, they're pissed at anything. It's worth. They're pissed at what I'm pissed at. Let's say something. God damn it, man. It's all over the place that these people that commit treason. And Manafort and Flynn are the only ones in jail? I don't know. Anyway, let's get into this bastard so you can see what I'm talking about. I might jump in here because I'm too fucking angry not to. So, here we go. Mother in law, why? Not, not to be fair, like, grew up Republican, I did. And they're Democratic. No, I'm not a Republican. I'm, I'm right, pissed. Right, I saw that. And I, and I agree with that. But I just. Well, can you answer me this, though? 
dude, I, I mean, like, I understand that. Give me the First Amendment. What's the First Amendment? Freedom of speech, All the right. freedom of right to say what now, you want as long as right. you aren't hurting anybody. See, and I, the only reason I asked that is because I actually do not know the, I mean, I had enough to drink at this point, but yeah. who knows what I actually mean. How clueless is this son of a bitch? Drunk, sober, standing on your head, turned inside out. You don't know what the fucking First Amendment is? Good God Almighty. But. Freedom of speech, they made it that, but there's a war in the First Amendment right now. I guess Every, you know, and, uh, I'm, and how, do you, how does the left defend that? I mean, they made it the First Amendment for reason. Where is the, and like, legitimate question, where is the, where is the war? Like, what, what is well, attempting to take away? Well, they're banning everything off of the internet, anything right of center. I mean, they took down InfoWars. Why would they take down InfoWars? How come all of a sudden InfoWars have been singled out uh, and taken off of Facebook, Twitter, uh, all of the social media platforms? Why? So is there, in your mind, at any point, is there a reason to take away hate speech? Define hate speech. If I hear this stupid fucking thing, I'm just, I just want to start it again. This is where it is. Hate speech. Where do they pick this up and what is it? No, hate speech. Hate speech. It hurts me feeling hate speech. Hate speech. Hate speech. Hate speech. Hate speech. I just want to hit them. They say that. I just want to shove my fucking fist down their throat. This is hate, you stupid son of a bitch. This is me hating you for being too stupid to understand that you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. You're a fucking moron. Um, I don't know, let's go against anti-race or anti-anything that's not the norm. So let's say... Anything that's not... Who makes those norms? All I'm saying is that if you see somebody going ape shit about how being gay is wrong or how being black is wrong, so, being anything that's not white, so, that's what I'm saying. Is is that in your opinion? In my opinion, that's hate speech, and that seems to be so, the general definition of hate speech. So yeah, but the First Amendment specifically protects, protects in general hate speech. Right. So, I mean, it's not there just for speech you agree with and makes you feel comfortable. I agree, with you there. I agree that there should be dissenting opinions. Obviously, there always has to be dissenting opinions. However, when you get to a point when you've got people that are being literally just by everybody... Who makes that point? A, who, who, who decides what that point you is? You know, I, I do agree that it's... Who decides that what that point far. is? I, I agree. That Who point decides the what that point is? I'm comfortable with the government making that decision. Is. I'm comfortable with the government making that decision. This is a... Uh, Probably the fourth time I've listened to this, and it triggers me just as much every time. Of course, you can, ex you know, suspect what's about to happen, and it does. If you somebody, are. If somebody needs to, somebody, I agree, yes. You are. You're not comfortable with the government deciding what you can say. Or could not as say. As far as hate speech goes, yes, I am. So, what if I was to define what you just said as hate speech against me because I believe that you should have the right to say anything you want because we already have laws right. against speech right. that would harm people. In other words, if you yell fire in a crowded theater, you could, that's a felony or crime because you could harm somebody. Do you agree with that? That law, that yelling that in a crowd Again, of listen to me. There right. are already laws against speech, like libel. If I were to say right. something right. about and you, I, I you could take that. me to court. Yeah. There are laws against trying, if you hurt someone financially, but yeah. do you, there's an old child look, lim, childhood limerick that I don't think that they teach anymore. Probably not. Sticks and stones may hurt my right. bones. 
but names will never harm me. Okay. So in other words, I could sit here and call you a dumb fucking wasp, ignorant right, son of a bitch, I and you could that. say that that's you know that that's hate speech. I might say you are a dumb fucking wasp, ignorant son of a bitch who believes, and you're also some kind of really warped person you're that would believe from a debate to just like no, I'm I'm, I'm practicing here. hate speech. I you see, you are. You know, you know, which is my right. So why should I be taken off the streets by calling you someone ignorant enough to allow the government to decide what can be said or not said, or some unnamed uh, government or a corporate official, or some algorithm that will just take you off? Because right now, as I said, anything right of center is being taken off. They took down Prager University. So back they to took down Diamond and Silk. Back they, to and we get back to uh, Infowars.com. Why would they take them off through a news organization? Back to the whole hate speech idea and the government regulating hate speech idea, right? The point being is that somebody needs to regulate that. In, Why? In my opinion. Why? Because it's offensive and because Fuck it's you when you're offensive bullshit. Who gives a fucking fat rat's ass if you feelings get hurt? Or you put with a baby. Not a lot of can you not fuck a feel you don't feel you are getting hurt? So Who gives a fuck about, so is, is a fuck about your feelings? So is it anywhere in the constitution opinion. that your feelings should get hurt? That's just, uh, it's against the law? So my question now I guess is is if that's your opinion. Yeah it is precisely my opinion that you're a fascist son of a bitch trying to tell me what I can and cannot say. What I just gave you was a whole help and a shitload of hate speech. I really do hate you. The but I ain't laws. fucking kidding. I really do hate you. So my question is, the current laws on, like, for instance, like you suggested, fire in a movie theater, saying something like that, that being illegal. Do you agree or disagree with that? Yes, I agree with it because you can harm somebody physically. Someone so could get physically hurt. With the government limiting free speech. That is it a prerequisite to be a completely dumb fuck to be a liberal? Do you not understand the difference between speech that you know can physically harm you? In other words, if I threaten you violently, uh, you know, that would be, that's against the law. There's laws against that. But <laughs> this piece of shit is trying to argue that feelings, well, you know, you gotta protect people's feelings. You don't wanna hurt their feelings. It is a, a quite, and then of course they bring up this false argument, like, well, I'm bringing up things that are against the law already, so he's trying to equate that with the government banning free speech. I mean, I don't, how do you get this fucking stupid? Seriously, how do you walk around on the street? How do you tie your fucking shoes? How come you don't wear your pants on your fucking head? You don't know how to fucking dress yourself. How do you do this? I don't have to fucking get it, man. I don't know how people can be this fucking stupid. But they are. Here they are. Walking around. Completely clueless. Yeah, I think the government should go ahead and, you know, uh, uh, tell me what I can think and say. Because I'm too fucking stupid to be able to dig for my fucking shelf. Yeah. God almighty. Whew. That's for not fire it, the you, like, Wait, wait, hold on. Hold, saying fire in a movie theater is not free speech? Yeah, right, again, you wait, yeah, you're lost, all right. Because again, it has physical harm attached to it. You moron. Ah! Okay, and about 30 seconds later, this guy comes walking by. I'm still percolating from the conversation, but uh, this ensued, and uh, this is how uh, that this guy claims to be more left leaning, uh, but this is the difference between uh, this guy that makes a bit of sense. 
but in reality, this guy's not really a lefty. When you listen to him, he turns out that he's he's really not left. He's I guess he's being pressured to because he's in he's in the business. But at any rate, this goes on, and I'll let this run out. I'm done. I'm done yelling. I had enough of this bullshit. How you doing? What's going on? Oh, I'm having the time of my life. Where are you from? I'm from New York. Where are you from? I'm from New York. Yeah. Long Island. You from the city? Queens. What do you do there? Well, I don't live there anymore, but back in the day. Where do you live now? Uh, Florida. Oh, you say it's a suburb in New York. That's what we did. South Florida, pretty much. Yeah, I, I grew up in Tampa, but I worked all the beaches in Florida. So what you down here? I don't know, comedy script writer in the sky, you know, some bad choices. What the hell, you know? What do you What do you do back there? And uh, I'm an accountant. Are you? Yeah. So uh, I'm, really, I'm really excited. And it, well, that's why they pay you guys the big bucks, because you know my eyes go cross when I start doing your work. I love numbers, but not exciting. Do you, so, uh, do you create these yourself? Or? Oh, yeah, yeah, this is all my work. Oh, nice. Yeah. Indeed. So, you're a Republican, I think. I, I don't get into the labels. I'm, I'm, I'm this. I'm pissed. Okay, there you go. Yeah. That, that I can appreciate. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I like to keep them all at it, you know, at, at some kind of... Uh, so, what are you doing? Are you recording? What are you doing over there? Yeah, I try to record a lot of my conversations and okay, stuff, cool. you know. Uh, except for this camera's not working for some reason. Um, so what do you do in town? Is there, are you just goofing off? I'm here for my birthday. Oh! Yeah. Hey, happy birthday! Yeah, yeah. Really big four old. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'll have to give you a present. I'm getting old, man. So what do you think of my work? You like, you know... I just got into something with a, with a man who said, I asked him, his family was liberal. How does the liberal defend their war on the first amendment? Yeah. And this young man, he, he started to get into, well, someone's got to regulate hate speech. And I asked him to go find that. Everybody's definition of hate speech is different. Yeah, but what, I mean, do you, I mean, the First Amendment protects hate speech. The only thing that the First Amendment uh, doesn't protect is, you know, if you were, you know, yell fire in a theater because it could hurt someone, or libel, you know, if you hurt someone financially. You know what it is? I think it's because we can't have good discourse anymore. Where people, okay, you may something that, say something that I disagree, but I think you have the right to say it. Yeah. But I don't think I should shut you up because you're saying something that... I don't agree with. Well, thank you. That's what the First Amendment is about. But what this gentleman Agreed. was trying to argue was that the government should have the ability to make hate speech, which is, how do you define that? Right. Uh, illegal. Right. In other words, if you were to, you know, I don't know, I guess, hurt someone's feelings right. with, with what... I was just about to say that. Everybody's sensitive. Yeah. So, the thing is, I could say, you know what, I don't want to agree with a locker up sticker. I don't agree with that, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna come curse you out and say something negative. I'm like, yeah, I don't agree with that. And you always have the right to just walk away. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm not. Most people don't think that we can have a civil conversation like this. They're like, oh, take it down. No, like, why? Yeah. Well, that guy tried to have civil conversation with me, and I, indeed, he was. Right. I wasn't because I was proving his point. I was getting in his face, calling him a, a, a Nazi, a fascist, right. for trying to limit free speech. Right. I was really yeah, trying to get his like, goat. This path here, this is not the only street that I can walk on. So I see something I don't like, I keep it moving. Yeah. So. So that's what, that's indeed, what makes this country great. Yeah. Where do you lean politically? How, where do you normally go? Um, closer to the Democrats. I mean, I don't agree with everything that they do. Yeah. And I think it's because I'm objective. Some people, they blindly follow either the Democrat or they blindly follow the Republicans. I try to think for myself. Yeah, of course. So I try to look at the candidate and what they stand for. Um, and a lot of times it happens to be more on that side, but not all the case. Not all the mm -hmm. time. What... A, what what makes you lean left? What are some of the, uh, what would be some of the, you know, the p 
principles or policies that uh, that they have have more attractive than, let's say, a uh, conservative. What would, I mean, because I mean, you're accountant. I, you can, accountants are typically conservative, especially financially. Yeah, from the financial, fiscal, in terms of like, because I'm I'm actually. I have a degree in economics. Yes. So, I mean, oh, I got something for you. Go, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So I'm more leaning towards the things that are going to stimulate the economy, and Republicans, from the financial standpoint, are better for the economy, historically. So you, you're, you know, is it more social issues that are, what, what is it that, that attracts you? Because I'm trying to understand, because when, when I'm looking at it, I mean, it's obvious that I'm steeped into this, right. and the divides are becoming more stark. Right. And it seems like the left right now is leaning heavily on like things like open borders, you know, uh, abolishing ICE, uh, and, and, and also like you know a lot of social issues like you know transgender this and oh, because, because four different bathrooms right. and right. No, so all those crap I don't believe. In. So I don't believe in. No. Well, you sound more conservative than you do. So I'm saying, to an extent. For example, one of the things that I disagree with is that, in terms of like from an economic standpoint, totally being objective, trickle down economics doesn't work. From the days of Keynes and all the historical economics, well, it I does not work. Yeah. So, yeah. That, well, that sort of can I? Well, well, if, 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 again, I'm just an observer. It's a pure fact. It's a pure fact based on economic principle. Well. I can't disagree because any time you have a, centra- a centralization of anything, of, of whether it be wealth, power, or anything, it's, I mean, wealthy people don't often just go, yeah, let's give some of those plebs something down there. They don't do that. They hoard it. That's I think now we're at the biggest disparity between rich and poor that we've ever been. So, uh, in that principle, yes, but when it comes to capitalism, I of course, not crony capitalism. That's basically what we have now. But a well, if the courts were not corrupt, right. and if we had a well-regulated, you know, capitalist system, it's never going to be regulated because it's not in anybody's interest to have it regulated properly. I used to work on Wall Street. I know. Uh huh. Got something for you. This lady I met out here uh, several years I ago. I think my yeah, left me, but. but Professor Iris Mack worked on Wall Street with Larry Summers. Okay. She turned him in, blew the whistle on the derivatives fraud. Right. Uh, a little black lady, I love her to death. I was there when the mortgage bubble burst. Ah, you might then you I might have you might have walked the halls with this woman. I used to work for Bear Stearns. Well, well she she uh, a, prof- a physics professor, mathematician professor. She's flying up to Wall Street all the time giving lectures. Mm-hmm. This is her site. She wrote after they they sacked her, they blackballed her. Mm-hmm. She wrote a book about it. It's called The Wall Street Bailout for Main Street. It became the number one bestseller for wealth management. Check her out. I will. Good talking to you. Yes.